Welcome guys. In this tutorial series, I'm going to teach you how to go ahead and upload files on Amazon Web Services using Node.js, Express and React. So I'm your instructor. My name is Imran Sayyad. And I'm going to tell you the quickest and easiest way to upload files on Amazon Web Services. And in this tutorial, you will learn how to create projects from scratch, create keys and buckets on AWS. And you'll also learn to validate the file size, the file type and display the uploaded files on the site. And we'll achieve this using AWS SDK, Malter S3, Malter Path, URL Express and we will achieve this by creating an account on console aws amazon.com we'll create a s3 bucket and add user we'll set up a project create routes apis to upload file we'll create a component to upload file so let's begin coding then so guys i've written a blog on medium uh, i will be leaving a link uh, below the video so you can watch and follow it so you don't have to type any codes you can just copy paste from here or it's up your choice if you want to type the codes etc uh, there will be the code uh, there will be the um, sorry there will be uh, the github link that will be below the video which you can follow along uh, if you want the code or you can take the code from here it's up to you okay so let's uh, begin then. Um, so the other, these are the steps you need to take. The first thing you need to do is create an account on console.aws.amazon.com. Uh, so I've already created an account uh, on that. Okay, so we'll skip that step and we'll move to the next one. Okay, then you need to create a user and a new bucket. Uh, and you need to note the access key ID and the secret access key. So let's do that. So we'll need to first create a user. Okay. So to create a user, you need to go to services and then go to IAM. And over here, you click on users and then you will click on add user. You can give it any name. Let's say I would give it Orion new user. Okay. And then you need to click on programmatic access and then you need to click on next permission okay and then you click on next review again you need to click on create user okay this is created our user this will give you an access key id which you can copy and you can just keep it somewhere okay so i'll just put it here And the next thing is you need to get the secret key. So I'll just copy this and I'll keep it. Okay. Now the next thing you need to do is basically close it and click on the user that you've created, which is this one and just copy the user ARN. Okay. So I'm going to copy that and I'll just keep it here. User ARN. Okay. The next thing you need to do, guys, is add an inline policy for this. So go over here, here, click on add inline policy, and you click on JSON. Uh, there is a blog that I've written how to create the bucket and user, and there's a link over here for that. So I'll just follow that link. Okay, here is the link which you can follow. Um, so what we need is the policy. So I'll just copy this. You can copy this from here. And just paste it. And then you need to click on review policy. Okay, so policy and you just name it something like my new policy. And you click on create policy okay so my policy has been created okay so we've got everything with the user now what we need to do is we need to uh, go to services s3 and create a bucket so i already have some of the buckets here you click on create bucket and then we can name it anything that we like but it has to be unique so name it as 
say Orion new bucket. Okay. And then you select your region. Let's say this. And then you click on next. Again, you click on next. Again, next. And then create bucket. Okay, so you can see that a new bucket has been created, which is this one. You click on that. Click on permission. Bucket policy. And we need to add the bucket policy here. So again, you'll go to my blog. There you will find this code right here. Copy it, paste it here. There are a few changes you need to make. The first thing is basically the <coughs> AWS. So remember you had copied the ARN, user ARN from the user. So you just need to copy that to let it know that it's going to use this user for this bucket. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that here. The next thing you need to do is basically copy this ARN from the top and just paste it down at the bottom okay and then you just need to save it okay and then you need to add the course configuration so again I'll go to my blog scroll down here is my course configuration I'll just copy it paste it save it and it's all done guys okay so you, you've gone ahead and created a bucket this is where your files will be uploaded okay and in the next video we're going to learn uh, how to go ahead and uh, create the component how to create the api to go ahead and upload the images on amazon web services and then how to display them on the front end on your site okay so I hope you did like the video. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel, um, hit the like button and do share my videos with others. I will see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.